talking with realtors that are looking to make a change or new in the industry, there's three biggest mistakes that I find most of them express. The first they talk about is not saving money ahead of time for all of the expenses that go into marketing and branding themselves before they get their first commission check. For example, I like to tell them they need six months of living expenses because those are not optional, plus a few thousand a month for at least the first couple months to pay for dues, memberships, business cards, note cards, postage, postcards, gas, folders, printer, printer ink, software, apps to run your business, signs, lock boxes, photography, just to name a few. <laughs> and thinking they can do it by themselves. They want to be entrepreneurial, which is amazing, but what that causes them to do is try to recreate the wheel. They're not researching real estate influencers to follow and copy. And Get a coach or a mentor. Many programs out there like the Tom Ferry program that I'm in are amazing for that type of expertise and mentorship. I have to say, when I first got a real estate coach, it stung at first. It was not cheap. But now that I'm actually in coaching and building referral networks from coaching, I actually make money from being in an amazing coaching program and I learn so much all the time. And start on a successful team that has all of the resources, systems, software, processes in place. If they don't have these available to you, keep searching for a team that does. Don't get hung up on overthinking the commission splits. I always ask my prospective recruits, would you rather have a whole grape or a half a watermelon? Because honestly, Honestly, 100%, 80%, 70% of zero is still zero. So if you're not producing, you're not gonna have an income. And join every real estate or Instagram group you can find and learn, learn, learn from everybody in those groups. And finally, kind of winging it every day without a plan or a system or process of their day in place. So plan your day, calendar block, so you diversify your efforts throughout the day. There's two areas you wanna do. You wanna work on your business, that is the actual fundamental business planning, CEO style work. Know your income, know your expenses, keep accurate books. And create systems from the beginning for everything. Checklists are amazing. Don't keep having to rethink these things once you get it down. And you can always change them. So your process should include buyer consultations, onboarding processes, seller consultations, building a beautiful listing presentation, and then all of your listing launch, marketing, and strategy. Lead generation pillars such as geographical farming, non-occupied owner campaigns, working with for sale by owners, tapping into expired and withdrawn properties that once tried to sell but weren't successful, door knocking, writing scripts for every conversation or scenario you might be in with potential clients, and the list goes on. So working in your business is actually different than on. In your business, I like to say that is your clients. They are your business. So keep an accurate database of all of their contact information and keep your contacts grouped and tagged like leads or active clients, sphere of influence, and keep those little tags in super detail of where each contact was sourced. For example, an open house or a networking event that you went on or an external lead source like a Zillow lead or a realtor.com lead. Pay attention to each of these tags because your follow-up and your touch points and your value that you're gonna provide to each one of these different people is different. This is not a one size fits all business and always be testing. Most of the processes and systems out there, you're not just gonna be able to do them one time and expect the phone to ring off the hook with every single person that you touched. Lead generation takes time, so make a plan to practice this and be in it for the long haul.